to our career prep and job seeking databases overview. So these are uh, different databases that you will have access to through the Mercer County Library System that are intended to help you prepare for a new career, determine a career that might be a great fit for you, and help you really succeed in your job seeking journey. And a quick reminder, all of these databases are accessible to you for free with your Mercer County Library System card. So if you are a resident in the borrowing area and do not currently have a card, I've got the link on the screen here uh, where you can learn a little bit more about how to apply for a card. All right, an overview of what we'll be covering today. While we do have a few additional databases, we're really going to be focusing on these specific ones today. The Career Preparation Center from EBSCO, Peterson's Test and Career Prep uh, by Gail Presents, and Ferguson's Career Guidance Center. So we will be gaining a better understanding of how we can use these three specific databases to help in our job seeking journey all the way from the beginning to the end. And we will also, towards the end of the session, become a little bit more familiar with LinkedIn Learning, which uh, has a lot of great resources when we're looking to advance once we've already found our career and are um, looking maybe for some more professional development type resources. And then beyond the databases, we'll have a quick review of some of the additional resources that are provided through the Mercer County Library System. So here we've got a quick breakdown to help gain an understanding of what the different databases offer. Now, while a lot of them have similar functions, for example, the three that we'll be going over in our job seeking journey all have an element that will help us find positions to apply for, we're going to be for focusing on one database for each step in our career journey just to allow us to get a little more into that, uh, gain a better understanding of that particular database and why it might have a particularly strong suit for that area. So if you do find that you prefer using one database over another for any reason, uh, you know, we encourage you to explore that. You may find that it has similar functionalities to ones that we went over today. So, a little bit about the three that we're going to start with. So the Career Preparation Center presented by EBSCO, uh, that is part of the Learning Express library. And it's a very simple to use learning e-learning platform. So it's got online tutorials, practice tests for a number of different um, vocational exams you may need, ebooks, quizzes, uh, really good for practicing for these different certification exams and such. It's also got good resources for building workplace skills and searching for jobs. Additionally, something kind of specific to this one is that they do have resources to help with your reading, writing, math, and basic science skills, if that's an area that you want to brush up on. Next, we have Ferguson's Career Guidance Center. So this uh, offers exclusive wide ranging content that is accessible and intuitively organized. You'll see that there's a lot of combinations of video and uh, brief article type content. They have in depth coverage and variety and a lot of user friendly elements or formats. And they do break things down into three main sections, job and industry profiles, where you can learn more about specific careers, job hunting and work uh, workplace skills. So once you've decided what industry you're interested in, skills you may need from there, and career and industry resources. And then uh, finally for now, Peterson's Test and Career Prep, Gail Presents. Uh, and this has resources to help students and adults, or, or of course adult students, uh, become better prepared for both college and careers. This has a focus as well on uh, college searching, finding a match there. We're not going to discuss that as much at this point since our focus is career and job search, but if that's something you're interested in, certainly feel free to explore that more. Uh, they've also got really great resources for helping you to build a resume, cover letter, and even personal websites. So if that's something that you 
want to revamp, uh, if you need a little guidance on what those documents should look like, you'll find that this is a really helpful resource. But now we're going to begin our job search journey. Now you may personally, of course, be in a different stage of your job search journey, but we're gonna sort of start from the beginning here so we can see how all of these resources play in. So here we're going to follow along Sam who's starting a career journey. Sam at this point is at step one, not 100% sure what career to pursue. So let me just quickly change our screen to start is actually the library website. So uh, from here, you'll find under resources. So we're on the main homepage of the library and under resources, we find the career prep and job seeking menu item. Here we've collected a wide variety of resources. And so here we can see some of those logos that might look a little familiar from the presentation. And we'll discuss these uh, additional resources a bit more towards the end of the presentation. So just one moment, we are going to start with Peterson's test and career prep. So when we click on that, uh, we can go ahead and open up the resource. So this will give you a page with just a little bit of a description about uh, what that program is. And then we would click to go to the external resource. So I've got that open over here. You'll find um, most of these resources will require you to log in. Um, so you would just set up a profile and um, generally that's going to be something that'll just let you um, make sure you can save your information, kind of come back to where you are, things like that. So from here, we're going to go, we've got a couple sections, right? And so the improve your score would be if we've maybe already decided where we're at and we need to take some standardized tests, uh, just to be aware. So if you're looking at um, college admission or graduate school admission, some of those things are here. And again, this is the source that I mentioned has college resources. So if you're looking for a school and you wanna find out more information, that would be in the find a school section. But today we're going to focus on the green section, Explore Careers. So if we click the plus sign there, that's going to open up some additional options. And we're going to go ahead and use the career tools, learn more. So here, this brings us to a couple of different resources. The Find a Career will open up into an additional version of our site. So here I've already taken, or Sam has already taken an exam to see what they might uh, fit into as a career. Now, so if you're really unsure, you're looking to make a career change, uh, these assessments can be really handy. So what they'll do is first assess your interests and give you some recommend, recommended jobs based on that. You can also take an assessment for your values. So if you want something that feels very fulfilling, um, this kind of will help you determine what elements you want to, um, the more personal elements that you're looking for. So in this case, I'll just show an example. If I wanted to take this assessment again, it's very simple here. It's gonna ask a number of different uh, job responsibilities. All you'd have to do is answer honestly, like or dislike. And then as you go through this, uh, that will gather that information exit my assessment and then you'll end up with one of these charts so here we can see our summary and now we've got our interests and so for example here based on the results of the interest exam we can see sam scored very highly on realistic we get a little more information about what that means to help us make sense of the data. And then also some examples of possible careers based on that. So one thing to take him, uh, to keep in mind is that this does not, it, it asks you to really answer these as if um, the requirements to begin one of these careers or the potential salary are not as big of a factor. So it's going to, it's, um, you may end up with answers that will require additional schooling or things like that. 
um, and we'll talk a little bit more about how we can gain some of those certifications and things we might need. All right, so from here, we're seeing that uh, Sam's got some kind of industrial things um, under values, achievement, and independence. And so we're going to gather that from reviewing their information from the different assessments. And we can also, if we wanted to, complete additional ones to see what kind of workplace might be best suit, might best suit us or get a better idea of our own personality and how that might work with our space. We can then explore career matches. So here it's going to show me different careers and how strongly they meet with the different res uh, results I got, or Sam got. All right, so one moment, we're gonna go ahead to our next step in the journey. All right, so our next step in the Peterson's, which just like Peterson's, we would go from that same career page and just look for that one. So here's this resource. You can click on it here. Again, we get a little more of a description of the program, and then we can go right ahead to the resource. So here we are. And one thing you'll notice with Ferguson's, they've got a lot of video content. Um, so if that's kind of a way you prefer to consume information, this might be a benefit of this particular program. So we have an idea of what industry we're interested in. Um, so let's see what we can find out. So if we're looking at becoming an electrician, search, and here I've got 17 results about different careers that involve uh, the term electrician. And it's uh, weighted so that our most relevant results is going to be at the top. So we can go ahead and select that first option. And here we'll find a wide variety of information on that topic. So whatever industry or profession you're interested in learning more about, go ahead, search it, find that here. Here, if we watch the video, we would see uh, an actual electrician answering questions, giving us a better idea of what that career is actually like. And suppose we have a specific question. Well, we can go through the video segments to find some a, a specific part of the video. Also, there is a transcript. So if you prefer to read along, that's an option as well. Or if you're looking for maybe a specific term and you want to see when that comes up in the video. But as we scroll down, you'll see there's an overview, general information, uh, but these quick facts can be really useful. So in this case, Sam's able to get an idea of what the median salary would be if they go ahead and pursue this career, a little idea of what subjects they might want to uh, you know, have enjoyed when they were in school or focused on, uh, ideas for the type of personality traits that are well suited to this career, there's also a career ladder. So depending on where you're at in your own career, you may want to see, all right, I'm getting right into this for the first time. So I would be joining perhaps as an apprentice electrician, or maybe I've worked in this field for a long time and I want to get a better idea of what the next step should be. That career ladder helps with that. Also helpful if you're looking at something sort of brand new or thinking about making a change, you can get an overview of the employment prospects and the advancement prospects. So if you're looking at making a career change, um, you might want to go with something that the prospects are looking really good or great for right now. And we do get some information about the education required and uh, certification required. So here we can also along the right side, jump to more detail about any of these topics. Uh, so suppose we just want information about the job. We've got a lot of detailed info in this article to help make sure that we are really on the right track. Um, so suppose we've read through this and it's looking like a really good fit. So I wanna make sure we've got good education and training to match up so we'll be able to get a job. All right, so here we've got there's going to be a high school degree, post-secondary training, um, other training. There's some things in here about apprenticeships. So from there, we can now decide to move on to step three in our journey. So here we have determined that there is a certification required. Um, so now we need to learn 
a little bit more about what that certification actually is going to require of us. Want to go ahead and practice so that we can move forward in that journey. So to help with completing a certification, all again still on that career prep and job seeking web page. Now we're going to go to the Career Preparation Center, and that's that green and blue icon. So from here, we can sign in, which I think I'm already signed in. So to register, very simple, your library card and your uh, ID. There we go. Just want to jump back to the, there we go. So from this page, we will see that there are uh, some different things that we can, just like we did before, you can learn more about certain careers. It's a little bit more limited than Ferguson's, but if you are interested in any of these careers, there's a lot of great information in those specific ones. Um, and then we will dig a little more into some of the job search and workplace skills uh, as we go along. But here you'll see that one of the really great features of this particular database is that they've got a lot of resources to help you prepare for various different exams. So in this case, Sam needs to prepare for an electrician exam, which is in this section right here. So we can see prepare for electrician licensing exams. We've got practice exams and the exam prep and ebook. So we'll explore this a little bit. So once you're logged in, it'll allow you to save your information as you go. So here we can see that there are four different practice exams. So I certainly um, don't have to worry that I'm going to end up just memorizing the answers and not actually know them. So I'll have some opportunities to take this practice a few times. There is a print option so that if you would prefer to sit down and actually complete this on paper um, or you want to take it with you as you're traveling, whatever it might be, you have that option. But if we are completing this online, we would go ahead to start test. And again, this is basically the same format regardless uh, as long as you're taking one of these practice exams. We're just going to focus on electrician for now. But so here we learn a bit more about the test and that's going to have important info about taking the exam. So here it'll, for example, let us know that the uh, actual examination, the official one, is typically open book. So that could be helpful as we prepare to know what that's going to be like. We get some information about how long the official tests typically are, so we can prepare to make sure that we answer our questions within that time frame. We'll also get some information about where the questions came from, if you need additional resources. Um, so you can find out some of that over here. We've got some uh, helpful information about actually taking the test, how to view our answers, etc. And then over here in the test details section, we'll see that there's three options for how to take the test. So you've got your learner, which will let you view your answers to each question as you go. So if you want to make sure that you really understand why something is the answer, that might be a helpful option. When you're feeling a little more confident that you know what these answers might be, uh, you can take a practice version of the test. So it will offer you explanations after, um, and it will show you the timing of the test. So you'll know how long it's taken you and if you're within the limit, but it will not enforce it. So it's not going to lock you out after you meet the uh, top amount of time. And then we have our third option, which is simulation. The test will stop when the timer is up. So that's the most like actually going and taking the exam. And then you would just go ahead, start the exam to begin. So now that we've gone a little bit over the exams, I just also wanted to highlight the, let me go here, exam eBooks. So here, these are really detailed digital versions of these books. You would just download it as a regular PDF file. And so you've got full access to these things uh, that, as you're studying, that can be a really helpful resource. You've got practice tests within them. Um, so another resource that's definitely worth checking out there. And again, all you have to do is just log in and you've got that access. All right, here, we're at step four. We've determined what career we're interested in. 
We've learned about that industry to make sure it in fact is gonna be a really good fit for us. We've started working on our certification. Now it's time to begin the job search. And again, you can do this through a number of these different databases, but for right now, we're gonna focus on using Ferguson's. Here we are, we're in Ferguson's. Now to get back to that homepage, you just go ahead and click the Ferguson's logo. And here we've got our menu up at the top. And in the find a career section, we'll go to job postings. And here, just make sure this search up at the top of the page will search the whole website. At this point, we are only searching for jobs. So we're gonna use the search over here on the right side of the page. So here it's just got some general popular jobs. Uh, it has it understands that we're in New Jersey at this point, uh, so it's going to show us things that are in there. But so let's say we want to look for electrician jobs, and we don't want it to just be New Jersey. We want it to be in Lawrence. There we go. All right, so I'm searching. Now I've gone down to 83 results because I've narrowed that down. And if I wanted to go ahead and use any of these other filters, let's say I am looking for a full-time position uh, at an entry level and it can be within 25 miles. Yeah, that, that sounds good. And I'm not really sure at this point what my salary expectation might be. So I'm gonna leave that blank. Um, so now that gives me, I've got 74 results. So I can see a little bit here of the job posting. If I go and click on the full thing, it's gonna take me to Indeed. So we know that the jobs that we find through here are actually being um, filtered through Indeed. So you can search through there on your own, but if you prefer to go ahead and use Ferguson's, you'd, you'd have these search filters and it's also gonna, um, you can do relevant and most recent. So if you wanted to see who's looking to hire right now. Um, so it's just two ways to kind of get to the same thing. But again, so you're not, the jobs that are posted here are posted in other places. Um, and then we'll also see, so yes, you'll see how recently they were posted, right? So you can see maybe if it's been posted a long time ago, they might be more interested in hiring someone right now, or maybe you've got a little more time if they just posted it, whatever it might be interested. And then you can of course see where they're all located. So that's how our job postings would go. So let's say we had found a couple of postings that seemed really interesting. And so now we are ready to go on to step five. All right, so from here, we found these jobs. We're excited. They seem like a really great fit, but now we need to prepare ourselves to apply. So the resume and cover letter uh, that can sometimes feel challenging. So here we are going to once again use Peterson's to help us. They've got some really great resume and cover letter tools. Peterson's. As we go again in that explore careers tab, that green one. So, and you'll notice as well, they do have a job search, uh, but we're gonna go explore careers, career tools, create a resume. Now this, once you set up your profile with this, it's actually, you'll, you'll see, it's gonna pull in some information to even give you a head start on your resume and cover letter. Now here, any resumes that we create would be saved here so we can go back and find earlier versions. So here, once we click that create a resume option, I've got three options here. I can use an existing resume. Perhaps I have one created from my previous job and I really just want to update it, uh, change the design a little bit. Maybe I'm more interested in just completely starting from scratch and building this through this program. Or what we're going to explore a little bit is using example content. So, which is especially helpful if maybe you're not sure what kind of keywords and things to use for the industry that you're looking at applying for. So here we see we've got a number of different templates. We can preview them. So again, we're looking for an electrician position. 
And we can see actually as we start typing it in, we've got some different options. So here, okay, there's the electrician. And now here we've got a few different options that we can preview. So let's say I look at the first one. All right, it's got a summary, um, some information it's based on someone being a master electrician. All right, maybe that's that all seems good. I want to go ahead and build off of this template. Select. So it's already pulled in some of Sam's information. So here we've got um, the email, phone number. If you have a little line about yourself, those things get pulled in to sort of give you that head start. And then what we'll find here is that you have different sample text to help give you an idea of what sort of information should go in each of these different sections. Now, of course, you would update this to match your own personal experience, uh, but it helps to give you an idea of how maybe you do your job every day, you don't think so much about how you might describe it to someone, uh, having the search terms and things could be helpful. And this is all a very easy to edit template. So here, let's say uh, I want to have my first job uh, in this same section, but actually we started in 2020. You can very easily click on there and update it. Um, go ahead, change the, the name of the company update your responsibilities to reflect what you were actually doing. Maybe this example only has three uh, positions in its job history, so we want to add an additional one. And here we get that same template, most recent company, position, start and end date, really helps guide us through all of the different things that should be there while maintaining this very nice uh, design format so we don't have to keep adjusting those things. Another feature, so right here it's got uh, a picture for Sam. Let's say they don't want to actually have a photo on their resume. Just go ahead and delete. Now, so you might be thinking, oh, that looks a little weird. It's kind of got some extra space. There's a thing that says the website's not there. There's a thing that says extra entry. So if we want to see what this looks like when we're done, we would just toggle to the preview mode. And that's going to show us any information that we have not entered in will be removed and we'll just get a nice clean version where everything like see this has now centered instead of having uh, the spacing over because we don't have that image the name gets pushed up to the top so all those little things formatting wise you don't have to take care of where you would if you were putting this together in a different uh, program all right so let's say we're good to, we're going to come back to this, right? Go to that little home icon. And now I have not done anything to save this, but it's there for me. So just um, as if you were using Drive or iCloud or anything like that, it's going to save it directly there for us. And then over here, you will see that there's an option to duplicate. So suppose I'm sending the same resume to a few different companies and I want to have it slightly different based on what they're looking for. I could take the same thing, not have to reinvent the wheel, duplicate it, make the updates where I need to. Similarly, we've got cover letter. So here we've got lots of different formats. So go ahead, choose whatever design is most appealing to you that you think makes sense for the industry you're looking at working in. And again, it's going to pre-populate some of the information from your profile to help save you a little bit of time, give you the options to add things in. You can edit the fonts and, and whatnot as you go. And here, this template can be super handy as you're, if you're not sure how your cover letter should uh, develop. So here it's really guiding you. Hi, I'm name, I'm, and, and then you would put in your current position, some information about how long you've worked there, really helps make building that cover letter, which can sometimes feel a little intimidating, much, much easier. In addition to you having the nice design elements, of course. So here we, we would go ahead, go back, and now again, that is saved for us. Additionally, if you need to create a website, suppose that you're uh, working on a career that you want to have a, an online portfolio, things like that, same sort of thing. You would go through, pick a template, build it from there. And then we've got additional articles. So if as you're on here, you're having some questions, uh, you need help with more examples or just general information, 
feel free to go through the different articles in the Knowledge Center. One thing to keep in mind, um, so once you're on this, you'll notice that while this is part of the Petersons, it is its own URL. So if you want to go back to the main Petersons page, you would just have to navigate to that specific tab. So going back in your browser or in your tab won't bring you back to there. All right, so we are flying through. Sam is so qualified, right? sending out those applications. And let's say that now we are on step six, improving interview skills. So I'll just go ahead without the slide for right now. Uh, to help us improve interview skills, there are some really great resources, again, in Ferguson's. So I've got it up, but just as a reminder, you're on that career prep and job seeking page. Ferguson's over here. And so, so from here, again, I'm still, we've got that page from looking for the electrician positions. I would just click on the logo to bring me back to the home page. And here I can see that there's some different resources. So here we've got prepare for your career. Uh, so we've already built our resume and cover letter. We've applied, we've gotten an interview. So let's go ahead to interviews and here you'll find a variety of different videos um, you'll find some of them really cover things that you might not even have thought to ask um, like what to bring to your interview or um, how to make small talk prior to your interview um, so if, if you've got any concerns about different elements of the interviewing process there's a lot of really great resources here and you'll also find if you'd rather not if you're prefer to read things, be able to kind of highlight, go back, etc. We've got a variety of articles. And so here you can go through and by having a account, so you can access this just with your um, library information. You don't need to set up a personal account, but if you do, you can then go ahead and save your different articles to a folder so that you can go back to them later. So also you can cite sections or suppose uh, you've got a colleague who's also looking for a position and you want to share the article with them. That's over here. But so here we can go through this information. And if we just want to jump to a particular thing, uh, maybe we've had the interview, we think it went well, but we're not really sure what's supposed to happen between completing the interview and waiting to hear back. So I can just jump to the after the interview section, go ahead read through there, and then move on to the next section or go back. So it's really structured in a very easy to navigate way with a lot of really valuable information. Also, um, the videos, again, you've got that same, just like before with the career understanding what, what a particular career offers, we still have the segments and the transcripts. Um, so if that's helpful, that's gonna be there consistently throughout the different resources. All right, so good news for Sam. Interview went well, they got offered the job. So now they need to take on those steps of how do we accept this job? Is there any sort of thing, maybe this is a new industry, first job. Just you wanna make sure you're kind of handling everything correctly. And also perhaps there's a need to negotiate the salary a little bit, which can sometimes be a little bit uh, intimidating. So we've got resources to help manage how to handle all those things. And so for that, we're gonna jump back to the uh, Career Preparation Center from EBSCO. Here we go. All right, so the career prep, I'm gonna go back to home, career prep over here. And now under the job search and workplace skills, we're gonna find some great information about accepting a job and negotiating your salary. So here is actually, there's a variety of different types of information that you'll, uh, different formats that you can get through this particular database. So it's gonna let you know, in this case, there's one resource and it's a tutorial, uh, but if you've got multiple resources, you do have that option to filter based on the type that you're looking for. So for example, if you're doing test prep, you might want flashcards. If you're looking for um, guidance and information, maybe you're looking more for an article than a tutorial. So you'd be able to filter as needed. 
But so for here, we would start our tutorial on job seeking or uh, job offers and salary negotiations. And because we've logged in, so here it's got Sam's information. We can see how far they've gotten. There is a notepad. So if you find that you want to take notes on anything and be able to access it later uh, and have everything in one place, you can go ahead and do that. And so you'd write your note and it will automatically save it to the page that you were on. So when I go to my other notes and tutorial, oh, course introduction. So let's say I jump down to the job offer. I want to see what's in my notepad. Well, here I can see this is my note. What did I say? Oh, okay, here's, oh yeah, that's the note I had and it's related to the course introduction section if I need to go back and check what that was. So as we go through, you'll see you can expand these into the different sections. Again, ideally you would be going through everything individually, but if you just like with the articles um, needed to jump to a specific section, there's only one thing that maybe is interesting you in this, uh, you could go ahead and jump directly to what's most relevant for you. And so as you complete these, you'll go through, it'll keep track for you of how much you've completed. A lot of useful information there to kind of read through and think through. Um, the tutorials don't necessarily have all, not all of them have questions and things like the quizzes do. Sometimes you might find one or two, uh, but generally it's more informative article on these very specific topics designed to be laid out in a way that makes the most sense for that specific topic. So here we can go ahead and bookmark. Maybe that's a piece that we want to make sure of. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and finish this later. So we can go ahead and save our progress. And I can come back to that later and know where I need to uh, what else is um, in progress and what I need to finish up on. All right, so here, fantastic. Sam accepted the job, got the salary they were looking for, uh, loving this career. The personality test maybe really helped them find something that was a perfect fit. And so now knowing that this is a role that they want to advance in and continue to work in, Sam's going to look for different ways to continue learning to help make themselves even more marketable for promotions and things. And that's where we're going to get into LinkedIn Learning. So let's jump over to that screen. So once again, all nice and easy to find on this same career prep and job seeking page. We go to LinkedIn Learning. Again, we've got the category and a brief description. And so uh, one thing to point out, if you have um, a LinkedIn profile, something maybe specific to you know, your own career, it is not the same login and information as LinkedIn Learning through the library. So you would have your own LinkedIn Learning that tra uh, th with your library card that will track your uh, lessons that you've completed, the cert certifications you've completed, things like that, but it does not directly link to your personal LinkedIn profile. So if you're trying to log in using your other LinkedIn uh, login information, you'll find that you're going to hit a bit of a roadblock. So, and I think I'm already logged in over here. Yes. Okay. So here, uh, if you're not familiar with LinkedIn Learning, it's one of our newer resources. And um, so here we can see Sam maybe had already started a course on some skilled trades things. Um, so if we wanted to jump back into that, and we can see, because we can jump back into our past progress ones, uh, this is sort of the way that things are going to be broken down through all of your LinkedIn courses. So you've got your different sections. Within them, you've got the different modules all broken down. So to, to receive a certificate of completion for the different LinkedIn uh, programs, whatever the topic is that you're going, you're going to have to complete all of them. You'll have to watch through the whole course. But if you were, let's say, uh, going back and reviewing something and you just want to focus on a specific area, you can jump around and go to a specific section. So here you'll learn a little bit more about the presenter, their qualifications, things like that, overview of the course, 
related topics. So suppose you complete the course that you've started and you want to learn more in that specific area, you'll have some options here. Just like we saw with EBSCO, you've got a notebook so you can kind of take notes as you're going through. And again, uh, we've got a transcript like in Ferguson's. So here you can have that on if, it's, if you find that uh, you prefer being able to read along. Also, you can jump through so I can jump to this section. Maybe this sentence is of interest um, and I want to see what, what they're talking about at that point. I can jump to that specific section in the video, which can be very helpful. And back on the overview page, if the course that you are completing has files for you to reference, uh, sometimes, for example, with things like an Excel course, you might have uh, a document in there. Um, so that would show you here what you need to download. Now, once you've completed the course, you'll be able to download a certificate. Now, right now, I haven't completed this, or Sam has not completed this, so they are not able to actually download it. Uh, once you have completed the course and received the certificate, if that's something you would like to put on your personal LinkedIn profile, you would uh, just copy some of the information from the certificate into your uh, I think it's certifications and professional development is the section. Um, so there's things that will identify uh, your, like your individual code on your certificate to confirm that you really did earn that. And you can also, um, when you download the certificate, you'd be able to attach that uh, by, uh, by link. So if you had it saved somewhere, for example, to Google Drive, you could then have it there so someone could see it. So while they are two separate programs, they can work together well. So let's go back to our main page here. We've got, uh, when you very, very first enter LinkedIn Learning, it will ask kind of what you're interested in. Um, and so that's how you'll get your top picks over here. And then based on what you've watched, you'll get recommendations. So suppose I told LinkedIn I'm interested in uh, learning about, I don't know, working at a zoo, uh, but actually all I've watched are things about becoming an electrician, then these two might look a little bit more different uh, from here. And then we get some information about the different instructors so we can learn a little bit more about who's actually teaching these courses. So I'm going to go ahead and We've got same, we've got that um, autofill option. So we're going here, we're looking for videos that are maybe of interest to electricians. So here we've got 76 videos or courses, I should say. Here you can choose the language that you want the course to be presented in. And also we can choose the type. So there is a difference. Our vid videos are just going to be videos about something specific. Uh, but going ahead and choosing a course. So here we've got two courses. Now, if I'm interested in this electrical systems one, we go through, that's an individual one. Uh, but now let's say Sam is, like we said, really enjoying their new career, wants to make sure that they have opportunity for advancement. So perhaps they wanna learn a little bit more about management. So now we're gonna go into that. Well, now we have a couple of different options. We have courses and learning paths. So if we filter just to learning paths, we, had, we could see that this is five hours and 30 minutes, whereas before the videos or the courses were about a half hour, an hour. Uh, so what's, what's the difference there? Well, a learning path is actually a collection of different courses that all are going to help you work towards a specific goal. So in this case, LinkedIn Learning is suggesting that if you really want to learn about becoming a manager, these eight courses will help give you the skills that you need. So it's a, a path that's already been uh, determined. You can get a certificate when you're done completing the learning path in addition to certificates for the individual courses. So you've got these great resources here uh, to help if you either want to make a change, start fresh, whatever it might be. And then also, if let's say you've, you just want even more uh, interview resume cover letter assistance, uh, let's 
we do even have resources in here for becoming a successful job hunter or if I remove the learning path if you find that you prefer the functionality of LinkedIn Learning, you can go ahead and complete courses on resume writing or updating your resume. Um, so all these different things, same um, with interviews, cover letters, etc. So like I mentioned at the start, a lot of these databases will cover similar features. So if there is one that you find you just personally prefer using, uh, explore it a little. You may find that you can do most of your job hunting through one particular resource. And finally, in addition to the LinkedIn Learning Certificate, which shows that you have completed that full course, certain courses will also allow you to build your uh, continuing education credits for specific different organizations. So for example, in this case, if you have a certification through the National Association of State Boards of Accountancy, and you wanna keep that active, you may need to earn a certain number of continuing education credits each year. Here, by completing this video, as long as you score a 70% or higher on their uh, exam at the end, you would be able to earn that CPE. So if that's something you need for the career that you're in and you want to uh, see how you might be able to earn different certifications, you can search within here for those sorts of things. All right, so as I mentioned at the top, uh, that page that we were finding all of our databases from has some additional resources. And while we can explore them on there just to make things a little easier to view and understand, the library does offer resume review. So if you have put your resume together using one of these platforms and you just would love to have a second pair of eyes on it, you can send them to uh, resreview at mcl.org with a short description of what you are trying to earn a um, data position in, and they can help proofread um, and offer feedback. Also offer job interview practice. So uh, for that, you would be able to set up a appointment to sharpen your interview skills, and those are virtual appointments, 25 minutes long, and they can be helpful uh, if you just need a little bit of practice leading up to an actual in in interview, whether that, which, you may find even that your actual job interview is virtual as well, so maybe even just getting that extra help of practicing there could be good. And finally, again, that career prep and job seeking resources page, which we're going to look at one in one second, has some additional resources as well. But the resume, resume review and job interview practice are two things that I really wanted to make sure you understood. Again, uh, beyond the databases, and you'll see again, there's a few more. Uh, if any of them, you know, if you want to learn a little bit more about some of the ones we did not cover today, please, you know, go ahead, read the descriptions, feel free to poke around with them. And if you are interested in that resume review service or the interview skills, um, things like that, you can find links to more information about all of that here in the resources from our librarians. We've also got some information about uh, cover letters and resumes, just basic interview skills. And we've also got a collection of a couple of videos um, that were created by other resource, uh, other sources that you just might find helpful as you're approaching your job search. Of course, it can sometimes be um, a challenging process. So just some I, helpful tips about your mindset, uh, going ahead with just setting up your uh, process for beginning to look, things like that. And then we've also got some links to Workforce Learn, um, and then the New Jersey Career Network Job Seeker community. So that, that there's a link over here. It's a little bit hard to see, but that's a free online community to help with job searching and connecting. So all these resources are conveniently in one place. We certainly wish you all very good luck on your job search. And if you have questions about anything we cover today, um, please feel free to email us at techclass at mcl.org.